Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. It is uh, Thursday, um, September the 28th, I think. It is 8.06 in the a.m. And I have decided to do the salt water flush. Now, I can't think of what your name is, Miss Lady, on yesterday that told me that you wanted me to, uh, let me turn this brightness down. Um, that told me that you wanted me to drink the salt water flesh live for y'all. Girl, okay. I don't know what it is about y'all that I love so much, but I'm deciding to go ahead and do this thing. All right. But I'm going to let y'all watch me drink this crap live. And I'm going to read y'all some fun facts about why we do the salt water flush. All right. Now, <laughs> like I said, it is 8.06 in the AM. Now I'm telling y'all right now, I will come back later on this afternoon and I'll do another live stream and I'll talk to y'all about you know, how long everything took and, you know, the effects of it and everything like that, okay? I already know it's going to be, like I said, hell in a handbasket, all right? First and foremost, let me tell y'all, I, I need to get do this quick because I have my water here and I already mixed my situations in it, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get to drinking in a second, all right? But this right here is what I have. This is two 16-ounce cups of water. I don't have a 16-ounce container. Therefore, I went ahead and I just have two 16 ounce cups right here. What I did with these in each one of these cups, okay, in this cup and in this cup, I mixed one. Now, the recipe calls for two teaspoons. I actually do two tablespoons. And the reason why I do that is because I've tried two teaspoons and it doesn't really give me the flush that I want. Therefore, I do two tablespoons. So in each one of those cups, I put one tablespoon in each one of the cups because I, like I said, I don't have a 32 ounce container, okay? This is the salt that I use. It is the, Medi the Morton Mediterranean Sea Salt, okay? And it is fine. And what you need to make sure that the bottle says on it, you need to make sure it says unidized. However, what my bottle says, it says this salt does not supply iodide a necessary nutrient. So you need to make sure that it has no iodide in it. It needs to be un-iodized, okay? Un-iodized sea salt. Let me go ahead and take this to the head. Woo, pray for me. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the head and then I'm gonna read y'all why we do the salt water, okay? Uh, so let me go ahead and do this thing. Lord have mercy, Jesus, just be with me, okay? I cannot stand this stuff, y'all. I'm telling y'all this right now. Woo! I cannot stand this stuff. Okay, all right. I can't hold my dose. Oh, it's so nasty, y'all. Who is so nasty? Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right. Mm. Girl, I promise you I want to puke all over this table. Oh, this is so bad, but it works so good. All right, hold on. Do <coughs> it. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got to take a swig of my gallon. Y'all, hold on. Mm. All right. Whew. All right. Now look. Whew. That's bad. All right. That was bad. My eyes are starting to run water a little bit. My eyes are starting to run water a little bit. Now, family. Ooh, now my stomach bloated. 
My stomach bloated down a big dog. Hold on. Ooh, I already took my apple cider vinegar this morning. Ooh, I'm bloated now. Ooh, I'm bloated now. Hold on. Okay, so the reason why I decided to do the salt water flush is because I haven't had a good bowel movement in a few days and I need a good release. And we're also doing the 10 day green smoothie cleanse. And in the book, um, she does tell us that if we're not able to have a, um, you know, if we feel like we're bloated or we feel like we can't go to the bathroom to either do the salt water flush or take the Mago 7 pills. I have not um, purchased the Mago 7 pills. I just opt to do the salt water flush. Um, so yeah, but family, now I'm gonna read y'all some benefits. Uh, I'm gonna read, ooh, it's, ooh, it's still in my mouth, y'all. I'm gonna read y'all some benefits of doing the salt water flush, okay? Um, so here we go. It says a salt water flush also sometimes referred to as a salt water cleanse or a master cleanse is designed to help you cleanse your colon and digestive system by bringing on a forced bowel movement. Salt itself is needed for many biochemical processes, including but not limited to adrenal gland, thyroid gland function, cell wall stability, muscle contractions, nutrient absorption, nerve stimulation, pH, and water balance regulation. Now, there are a lot of people who have a very um, low salt, you know, they, they, they consume very low salt in their diet, but um, any doctor will def definitely tell you that you need some salt um, for your body to function properly or you start having these muscle spasms and all this other type of stuff. So you definitely need to have a little bit of um, uh, salt in your diet, okay? Not saying that you have to do a salt water flush. I'm just saying some people feel like, you know, I don't want to have no salt. I know a lady who really don't put salt on nothing, but you need to have a little bit of salt, okay? It says the official salt water flush has become more popular over the past decade as a hack to facilitate digestion and cleansing as part of a kickstart when you're doing a master cleanse program. And I consider the 10-day green smoothie cleanse kind of sort of a master cleanse program, to be honest with you. I mean, it helps you uh, get all the carbs and everything like that out your body, in my personal opinion. I don't know. It make you lose weight, girl. Just saying. The idea is that drinking a salt water mixture ignites the body's own mechanism of natural detoxification and waste elimination, helping to get your digestive system back on track and in the process, making you feel lighter, less sluggish, and less weighed down. Now, I can, pro I can promise y'all, okay? I didn't weigh myself this morning, but I can guarantee you if I would have weighed myself this morning, whatever, after I get through using the bathroom and everything today, because like I said, I'm going to come back on here later on and I'm going to let y'all know how, um, you know, all of this worked. Like I said, it was 8.06. I forgot whatever time it was, timestamp, okay? It was like, I'm going to say it's like 8.06 at the time I drank that stuff. In my mouth right now, family, I want a, I want a piece of peppermint or something, but I ain't got none. See, I can't eat until 10. Y'all know I'm doing intermittent fasting, so I can't have my first meal until 10. I want to pop one of them peanuts, some of them cashews in my mouth so bad right now. But I'm just, you know, I just had to rinse the rest out of my mouth with some more water. But it is what it is. But like I said, I will definitely be coming back on here later and letting you guys know you know, at the time that it kicked in, like I said, it's 806. So hopefully I can, you know, like I said, my stomach feeling real bloated right now. Okay. Anytime you do the salt water flush, when you're consuming 32 ounces of water at one time, your stomach is going to bloat a little bit. But trust me, once you get to go into the bathroom, that's going to go away. Trust me when I tell you. Okay. But like I said, if I would have stepped on the scale this morning, I guarantee you that the scale would have probably went down maybe three, four pounds. I'm, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm like dead serious because I already know, like I said, I haven't had a proper bowel movement in a few days. So I already know that, you know, after I go to the bathroom a couple of times today, it's definitely gonna, the, the scale is gonna drop. That's not why I did it. I did it because I need to have a bowel movement and I'm kind of backed up a little bit. That's the reason why I did it. I don't want people to think that I'm doing the saltwater flush, you know, to lose weight because absolutely freaking not. I'm doing it because... I need to go to the bathroom because I haven't gone to the bathroom properly in the last couple of days, okay? And like I said, she even tells you in the book if you're not able to have a proper bowel movement to either do the saltwater flush or do use the Mago 7. 
So again, this is what you need to do. Um, you need to drink. You need to make sure you have 32 ounces of warm water, okay? Do not use cold water. 32 ounces of warm water. Into the 32 ounces of water, if you're following the recipe, use two teaspoons of unidized sea salt. Do not use table salt when you are doing the salt water flush. Number one, it's going to be gross, okay? It's going to be just as nasty, and it ain't going to do nothing, okay? You're just going to be in the drunk some salt water. You have to use unidized sea salt in order for this stuff to work. Do not use table salt. It is not going to work, okay? But me personally, again, because anytime I use two teaspoons in my 32 ounces, I don't have the bowel movement that I want. So I use two tablespoons for mine, okay? I personally use two tablespoons, personally, but the recipe calls for two teaspoons, okay? 32 ounces of warm water with two teaspoons of unidized sea salt, all right? Now, uh, also you may um, be magnesium uh, deficient. Oh, okay, you're talking to my, okay. Uh, regular salt would, which comes, contains iodide is what raises the blood yes that's the reason if you have high pl blood pressure use the sea salt but the regular salt is what you know it will is what will raise your blood pressure but the unidized you should be fine with the unidized sea salt but um like i said family it is eight uh it was 806 when i took that stuff i'm just gonna say 805 okay i'm just gonna say 805 to be politically correct I'll be back on later on this afternoon to let y'all know how this stuff worked out. Pray for your girl, because I already know my stomach, stomach, I can't even talk. My stomach is about to be rumbling and dumbling. Thank God I ain't got nowhere to go for at least five, six hours. The juice man is at um, an appointment this morning, and he won't be done. He'll be done about, I don't know, probably about 12. So hopefully, I am... Uh, I'm through going to the bathroom about 12. Usually it kicks in within about 30 minutes. Um, for those of you that want to know that, usually this stuff kicks in in about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm going to go in the bedroom and I'm going to lay in the bed on my side for a little while. And uh, I'm going to rub my tummy because they do tell you to rub your stomach to get it to moving around. But I don't normally have to do that. I'm about to get up and I'm probably going to, you know, wash some clothes and vacuum and stuff like that. Just to get it jigging around in my stomach real good. And then I'm pretty sure within about 30 minutes it's going to start kicking in. And then I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. And I'm probably be in the bathroom for about two, three hours off and on. And I'll definitely let y'all know how I'm feeling. Uh, I'll let y'all know how I'm feeling later on when I come on. Um, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to kick in. 30 minutes to an hour. Um, hey, Davina, how you doing, boo? But yeah, family, if you in here, join the Facebook group. Link right there across your screen. Go over there, answer the questions. While I'm, you know, as I'm cleaning up and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and accept a lot of those people who sent requests um, recently. I'm going to try to accept everybody today. Those those people who actually answered all of the questions like they were supposed to. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to get up off of this thing. I'll be back on here later on and I'll let y'all know how everything worked out. And I'm sorry for my camera being so bright. All of the, the, the daylight is coming in right now. So it's, um, uh, it's, um. Uh, it's pretty potent right now. Apologize for that, but I love y'all. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel it. I feel it rumbling. I'll see y'all later, family. Bye.